How to make chicken gel frazzy. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Renowned chef and Indian cookery book expert Manju Mali is going to show us how to make chicken gel frazzy. This is an Indian or Pakistani chicken curry with green peppers in a hot and spicy dry sauce. Step 1. To serve 2 to 4, you will need 2 tablespoons of olive oil 1 medium onion 2 cloves of garlic 1 green chilli 3 centimetres of fresh root ginger 2 chicken breasts 2 teaspoons of mild to medium curry powder or paste quarter of a teaspoon of salt 1 teaspoon of tomato puree 125 millilitres of water 1 green pepper Here's that list again. Remember to wash any fresh ingredients before use. You'll also need the following utensils. A teaspoon, a tablespoon, two chopping boards, one for the chicken and one for the vegetables, a large sharp knife, a small sharp knife, a metal grater, a non-stick frying pan, some plates to hold the ingredients and a wooden spoon to stir. Step 2. Prepare. Finally chop a medium sized onion. Crush two cloves of garlic with the flat of a knife and peel away the skin. Chop finely. Cut one green chilli in half and unless you want an incredibly hot curry, use the knife to take out the seeds. Chop finely. Chilli juices can burn your skin so when you've finished, wash your hands. Remove the stalk from one green pepper and cut it in half. Remove the seeds and the white inside and cut the flesh into small slices. Cut the rough outer skin from about 3 cm or 1 to 2 inches of root ginger. Then grate. Chop two chicken breasts into small bite sized pieces. Wash your hands after chopping the meat. Step 3 Heat the oil. Heat a non stick frying pan over a low to medium heat. Add about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Handy hint. For a richer curry, use 2 tablespoons or 30 millilitres of butter instead of oil. Step 4. Start to fry. When it's hot, add the chopped onion, garlic and chilli. Fry for about 4 minutes or until the onions are soft and translucent, stirring occasionally. Step 5. Add flavour. Now, add 2 teaspoons of curry powder or paste, 1 teaspoon of tomato puree and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Stir everything for about 30 seconds. Step 6. Add the chicken. Add the chopped chicken to the pan and cook for 3 minutes in the pan until it's almost cooked. Stir continuously to stop it sticking. Step 7. Add water. Now add 125 millilitres or 4.5 fluid ounces of cold water to the pan. Turn the heat down to a lower temperature and simmer for 5 minutes. It should bubble gently. If you'd prefer a thinner sauce, you can add another 125 millilitres of water and cook for 3 minutes longer. Step 8. Add ginger and pepper. Finally, add the grated ginger and chopped pepper and cook for another minute. Step 9. Check the chicken. If you're worried about whether the chicken is cooked, take a large piece from the pan and cut it in half. It should be white all the way through with no trace of pink. It should also be piping hot all the way through. Step 10. Serve. 
This dish is fantastic served either with basmati rice or with hot naan. To make your own naan, watch Video Jug How to Make Naan Bread. Done.